please. Hi there. Got to say, it's great to see one of them doing a Listen Without Prejudice week at last. I think. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What? Wayne Carr, WC on the radio, Britain's favourite daytime job. What's going on? As part of one FM's Listen Without Prejudice week, we're going to stamp out what? some of the bad stuff and everything bad that we say. Oh God. Because it's just so simple, but many people still say stuff like, "I was working like a black." Oh God. It's just a ridiculous thing to say because we all know that black people are terrible workers if they do any work at all. Christ, okay. yeah. Come on. you can't say You can't say it. You can't say it. Stop. Stop it. Look, I'm sorry. We're all really behind racial minorities here on 1FM. All the daytime jocks are me. We've all been blacked up all day, see? I'm doing the show blacked up now. Hello, dear man. You don't have to be a snowflake to do this radio thing, huh? You see, we love little blacks and soap dot Asians. If we hated them, we'd promote them above their level of competence and make them look stupid on local regional TV shows. Okay, and today's projected honk, exam calls. If you want to call now, 0716374343 for help with revision and exam techniques. There'll be feedback reports which prove that soliciting public opinion is the stupidest idea since boxing the ears of a teenage menace and sending them to his mother with your signature on the box. Kiddies outing, but who will our kiddie be outing today? Oral Prozac from Michael Alexander St. John. And uh, Peter Bainham is here to see what, if any, trains are running this evening. Will you be able to do that, Peter? Yep, yep, no problem. Okay, and uh, you realise when I say see, you have to mm -hmm. actually go and see what trains are running. Yeah, I've got numbers here. I'm no, no, ring go around and see, them, see them with your own eyes. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> And as the news horse stumbles blindly into the event's ditch, tonight we have news. And Clark deepens Tory crisis in unbriefed fiscal outburst. It's all this um, monetary union, it's all no good, is it? It's, you know, when it, we never want um, just one currency for all the um, Europeans and us. We just want to keep our own money in it, basically. Here's today's feedback report number one. <laughs> Looking today at stomach velocity, what are your feelings? The stomach velocity? Uh, it could be the, the, the genetic structure, w w the way they built, the way their mother and father made them. That could affect the stomach velocity? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Can you tell from people's faces if they've got an awkward stomach velocity? I think you can, yeah. Well, what do you look for there? Well, uh, I think you can look for an odd look on their face, uh, kind of sort of a tightness around the mouth or around the eyes. Would the eyes move a bit? I, I should imagine the eyes were this colour and probably close a bit, you know. Can you think of anybody in the public eye who we see with an absurd stomach velocity? The chairman of the Conservative Party right now. If he was walking at three miles an hour, what uh, velocity would his stomach have? Five miles an hour right now. So he's plus two on, yeah. on whatever he's doing? Yeah. What about if the stomach's going too slow and you're walking along at three miles an hour, your stomach's only going at one? I think you'd collapse after, you know. In less than half a mile? I should think much less, yeah, very very much less. About 100 yards, you could collapse quite easily. And whereas when the stomach is going too fast, the eyes are held to skelter and the mouth is tight, what about when the stomach's going too slow? I don't know, you sort of have to look at some of these retarded people, maybe, some, some, some of their expressions, it's sort of dreamy and kind of, uh, everything is very nice. But it, it shouldn't be that slow? Mm, no, maybe not. Or, or too fast that it starts pushing out the front of the shirt? Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah, so all disturbing the tie structure. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. If it started disturbing the tie structure, what advice would you give to somebody? Well, I mean, they could be giving people the wrong impression, especially where uh, ties are very important today. So, I mean, you've really got to keep this tie straight. Listen, without prejudice week this week, and the key to it really is broad-mindedness, isn't it? I mean, uh, it's a case of how you look at people and things. Pol Pot, you know, mass murderer, or just a guy whose sense of humour was a little bit misunderstood. Fred West, serial killer or careless DIY enthusiast. In fact, the 90s capability brown. What else do we got? BNP, a bunch of racist neo-fascist boneheads. Yes. Stop being poor. Living as an unfortunate looking destitute does you no good at all. It only ruins other people's days. Okay, we have got some uh, news coming up which we'll keep you abreast of before the 9.30 bulletin. That's news feed at 9.30, but we'll keep you abreast of the news because uh, there's one or two events coming up now. Yes. One FM exam special. It's line four seven five six one two eight. Hello there, Mark. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, not bad. Uh, how can we help? Um, I'm a mature student. I'm getting a bit nervous. 
have How old are you? 31. What exam are you taking? GSC, GCSE in maths. I'm doing my higher. What would you like to know about it? Well, basically, I'd like to know... Cool. ...what I need to do to get a C or above, really. I mean, I, I, I'm just getting worried. <laughs> you know, nervous, pre, pre-exam... Well... One piece of advice I can throw you away is that of the magic number memory system. Okay, I'm listening. If you have to remember something like a tangent is opposite over adjacent. Yes. Pretty simple in the cool light of day, but in the heat of an exam, <laughs> it can curdle your brain, can't it? Absolutely. So, what you do is you pick your own magic number. What would you say that would be? Oh, my own magic number? Yeah. 50 off the top of my head. 50, okay. How many letters in tangent? Eight. I think you find the seven. Seven, sorry, okay. Tangent, seven letters in tangent. Very simply, you take the seventh root of 50. Okay. How many answers do you want out of this? One. So you square it once. Yeah. Now, you know you're dealing with a triangle. Yeah. So how many sides to a triangle? Three. So you take the cubed root of what you've just done. Yep. Yep. That'll give you a number. Right. Now you take that number and you associate it with the term opposite over adjacent. Ah. Oh. Then in the exam, all you need to do when you've got what is a tangent is you take your magic number, you know there are seven letters, so you take the seventh root, you know you want one right answer, so you square it once, and you know that you're dealing with a triangle, so you take the cubed root of all of that. That'll give you the new number, which you've magically associated with opposite over adjacent. Aha. Uh-huh. With me? Yeah. Good. Right. Now I'm just going to go, and go away, find the facts that I want to remember, and then apply the magic numbers. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad to have been of service to you. Thanks very much. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 So if you want our advice, 071-637-4343. The exam phone-in lasts until 10 o'clock tonight. Any problems with revision or exam techniques? But by the way, if you're Paul last week who travelled a shop, then give us a call on your mobile if you're out and about tonight doing some late-night shopping. We may have a task for you. You could bother some shopkeeper on our behalf. Um, now, I, 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 I don't know. I came in obsessed with this thing I, to, to gurge out at you because I've seen an advert. You've probably seen them, you know, these uh, Benson Hedges gold ads featuring some no-hope cryptic clue in them. Uh, but there's one up on the billboard at the moment, which is a clue for Mexican wave, or there's the one in the ads, which is, uh, was it soul music, one-man band? But do you remember the one about a month ago when they had a load of red crabs hanging from the tree and it was two words four six red crabs hanging from the tree and i just thought i looked at it and i thought yeah red crabs hanging from the tree red crabs yeah lung cancer and then i didn't think of anything so i thought lung cancer bnh gold oh that's it peter yeah. you're meant to be checking out the trains yeah, yeah, the, sure. the late yeah, night the late yeah. night trains see if there are because people are still stuck and there are huge traffic yeah sure yeah yeah, sorry, I just, can I, I just had a, a thought of a topical gag. Mm. Yeah, I was just thinking if John Prescott, right, yeah. was talking to a bunch of little baby journalists, they could all sit in John's press cot, because they're babies, isn't it? So we've got some lines uh, buzzing now for the exam phone. In fact, I think we've got, we, we can take one before 9.30. We can take one before 9.30. <laughs> oh, really? What's up? Okay, we've got someone hanging on the line here, and apparently she's saying to herself... I want to die. Have a listen. Can you line her up? I want to die, she's saying. Have a listen. Mm, I want to die. I want to die. She's saying, she's saying I want to die. Okay, I'll, I'll put on my big voice and introduce her in a minute. <coughs> Exam phone in line 23 and a half. Hello, who's this? Sarah? Hi. Hi, Sarah. How are you doing? I, I was just wondering what... Um, Straight in there. Yep. What? Tempos ah. and things to revise for music. What sort of problems do you have in the exam room? Well, um, I get really nervous. And you want to know what tempos and things to revise? Yeah. I definitely revise three four. Yeah. And look out for a question on five four. Yeah. Have you done that? Um. Yeah. So that's point number one. Point number two is, and this, I think, will thrill you a little. I've got. I don't know if I can do it. Can I do that? I'm, I'm doing this out of sight of the producer, but basically I've got this year's music paper. Now, I can read you out one question. Would you like me to do that? Yeah. Don't tell anyone about this. Okay? Okay. All 
All right. Which section of the paper do you want me to take the question from? History. All right. Here's a question from the history section of the paper. Write this down. All right. Describe in what way the work of Haydn influenced the work of Mozart. Right. Okay, have you got that? Yeah. Now, really don't tell anyone, not even your parents. Okay. All right. I suppose you can thank me for that. Okay, thanks. I wish you the very best of luck. Okay, thanks. Anything else you need to know? No. All right, Sarah. Okay, Take care. thanks. Bye. Bye. If you want to have a go on that, all you have to do is phone 071 637 We can advise you with whatever problems you've got, both in revision or indeed exam-taking technique. 071 637 been a worse day for a national rail strike. There are still plenty of traffic jams out on the roads. It was just yesterday that sections of various motorways were rolled up and put away for the summer. That's affected the M32, the M62 and the M50. A strip of the M23 near Gatwick has been set aside as a backup runway, so if you're stuck in traffic, there, get out of the car as soon as you can. On the M54 in Shropshire, there are vandals taunting traffic jams by playing sound effects of trains over loudspeakers and making tactless station announcements like all trains are running on time today. Hot roads on the A3M near Portsmouth. A couple of bridges burned their feet on the road and ran off. They're last seen at Burgess Hill. And across the country, 197 premature crop circle pranksters have been killed on the roads. No particular problem there. With today's flow of traffic, they got mashed down pretty quickly. And uh, don't forget to Tonight, the M4 bore. It's expected tonight. The annual eight-foot wave of hot tar in the melted tarmac conditions is expected to peak, traveling east at 90 miles an hour, somewhere near memory services. So if you're in the car there, don't be. And you can expect more chaos tomorrow, I'm afraid. Uh, today, with uh, the signals not working, several trains on the loose. They were all over the place. Two carriage branch line trains have attempted the Plymouth to York run. They ran out of electricity there and were stranded. Uh, at least two more have got stuck and lost in the dusk and disappeared down the Channel Tunnel. In fact, at seven 24 this morning, the Seven Oaks train left and was last reported at 9.15 this evening in the outskirts of Bruges. Police say any problems with the roads can be skirted by reminding you that the rules have changed this evening. Normal driving laws don't apply after dark tonight. So if you're having any problems, wait until dark. Normal driving laws will not apply. Line four, hello, Roz. How can we help? I'm doing my A-levels next year yep. in French and Italian. But I'd like to know how to <coughs> revise for um, listening and reading papers. So, hang on, this is, um, you're doing an exam right now? I'm doing my, some mocks this, at the moment. The key here is to get the stuff to go into your brain, isn't it? Yeah. And then to be able to recall it. Mm -hmm. This is a technique of recalling what you've learned in the exam. Uh-huh. Do you have a Polaroid camera? Yes, I do. Excellent. What you need to do here is get somebody to take a photo of you as you're learning a particular fact. Yeah. Keep that photograph and take it into the exam because you're absolutely allowed to do this. Really? And then every time you need that fact, look at the photograph, the expression on your face will remind you of the fact and you can write it down. Okay. Obviously, if you had a thousand facts to learn, a thousand pictures, and you would be able to take those into the exam. Okay. Okay, Ross, has that been any help? Okay, yes, thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Press one 4343 if you want to have a go. Don't forget, every person who phones gets a Dennis Potter look-alike kit so you can make people have a look at uh, you and on their faces it says, Hey, but aren't you... I mean... Oh, God, I'm staring. Sorry. Today's kiddies outing. Today's Wednesday, the 15th of June, 1994. And today, I would like to out Richard Little John. Mr. Little John is a shoe-faced... Jumped up, little man, and has been a practicing friend of Dorothy for as long as I've known him. That's today's Kiddies Outing. <laughs> Bi monthly feature on 1FM. Peter, yeah. since you're still here, give us a snog, will you? Oh, all right. I'm feeling a bit lonely. Oh, so I come over there? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Okay. Mm. Mm, go on, mm. stick your tongue. Hang on. Line four, we've got Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi. Exam special. What subject are you doing? I'm doing it's different, different subjects. I'm doing um hospitality course, hospitality mm. management course. Is that the same as a, a manners course or...? 
It's a degree course. I mean, what sort of things are you learning? How to greet? You learn about hotel work, um, how to greet customers, you how learn about the food and beverage industry. Do you learn how to send them away? Yeah, you do. Yep. You learn how to diff deal with different types of customers. You and, know? and how do you deal with difficult customers? Basically, you need tact, really. Mm. What happens if a man comes in, very smartly dressed, by himself, <laughs> asks for a table for two, yeah. and you point him in the direction, he goes entirely in another direction and walks out of the other end of the room and then comes back wearing some different clothes? <laughs> Well, I'm confused now. I'm confused. What, what would you do? Well, say, say he came um, in. Say he came in first. He <laughs> he looked like a businessman, yeah. right, with a blue tie, white shirt, and a grey suit. Mm -hmm. Asked to be sat down at a table for two, yeah. and when you point him in that direction, he says no and walks off in a different direction and walks out of the restaurant and then comes back in a plaid suit. Well, that's a, you know, that's a really really weird one. I mean, you'll be really suspicious of this customer. You'll just have to like be really careful with what you do. Mm. Obviously, you let somebody else know and say, well, look, this is what's just happened. Would you be surprised to know that that's going to be in the politeness section of the paper you're going to take? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you would be surprised. I'm joking. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> but I have actually got the papers. Oh, you have? I've got the papers oh, from... Stop. My producer has actually passed me through the papers from this year. I don't know how he got hold of them, and I know that I'm not supposed to be dealing with them. But I will be able to read you out one question mm -hmm. from this year's papers. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Okay. Now... Before we get to that, mm -hmm. let's deal with any other questions about revision that you have. Right. Um, basically, I just sort of can't sit down and just sort of revise. Do you I find trouble letting, getting the facts to actually impress digest, into your brain? Yeah. 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 Well, one way of doing this mm -hmm. is to pressure learn. Right. Have you had a pressure learning? No, I haven't. Okay, it's a technique developed in America in the 60s. And basically what happens is you look at a page of notes and you know that that's the last time you're going to look at it. Okay. And the pressure on your mind mm -hmm. means that it actually hangs on to the facts yeah. much more efficiently than any other way. Mm -hmm. Now, to make yeah. sure this works, yeah. you get to the bottom of your page of notes, yeah. and you rip it out mm -hmm. and burn it. Oh, my God. And, <laughs> and this will ensure that whilst you're reading it, you read it with hyper-concentration. Yeah. And the stuff will stay in your mind much more efficiently than any other way. Mm -hmm. It's a risk. Yeah. But I tried it at school. Yeah. I tried it too late. I tried it in my seventh O level. Yeah. The last three O levels I did, mm -hmm. I got top grade. Wow. Are all your exams this year crucial? Yeah. They are. <laughs> well, it's, I can tell you it's worth doing for those crucial exams. Okay. All right. Okay. Now then, do you want to know one of the questions? Yes, I do. Hmm. Don't tell anyone about this, right? I won't. Okay. Bye. Okay, here's a question for you. Okay. It's to do with preparation of game. Game? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. And that question is, mm -hmm. how would you prepare a pheasant for roasting? Oh, God. Right. I think it's in my books now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look up that section in your books, mm -hmm. and may I wish you the very best of luck oh, next God, week. thanks a lot. Okay, thanks for your call. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye. Is that Donna? Yes, it is. Hello, Donna. Sir, Paul Parsons, the producer here. I wasn't listening to what was going on then because I'm sorting out some of the other calls. But uh, <laughs> how, how, did, how, how, how did you get on? Oh, it was good. I mean, he, he was really helpful. Did you give us some good techniques? Yes, he did. Did he do anything else? Um. Did he do anything about papers, uh, past papers and questions and things? Well, I wasn't supposed to say anything, so I'm not sure if I can. Sorry? He said to me I shouldn't say anything, so I'm not sure if I can say anything now. What did he say? <laughs> Don't worry. He was cool. He was okay. Are you sure he didn't tell you anything? I'm sure. I'm sure. You, you don't sound so sure. I promise you, he didn't say a word. All he gave me was advice about um, revision techniques. He said nothing about this year's papers? No, he never. Thank God for that. Okay. Okay, okay then. Cheers, Donna. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Keep busting. Are you at the counter? It's, a, it's not a good reception. No, but it's fine. I can hear you. Are you at the counter? I'm just going in. Okay, what are you, you going to buy? Hello? Yeah, we'll keep listening to you until we lose you absolutely. Don't worry. He's probably going to buy some fags. Oh. Yeah, keep at it. It'll be worth it through the bad signal unless we lose you altogether. Hey, man. I'm with you. 
Is Dodge City in there? I beg your pardon? Is Dodge City in there? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Dodge Fibian. It's Dodge City. Oh, is it? It's Dodge City? Yeah. You mean you're bottling? No, double. <laughs> Are you are you at the counter or have you just nicked something? I've just I've just had to go outside because the till's interfering with the counter with the phone. Okay, well look, we'll we'll join you in a bit, all right? Yeah, I'm coming. We'll see if it works. Okay, so that's Paul, who may by ten o'clock have a chance to ruin something for us. Okay, just keeping us ahead of the news, and the main news tonight, Education Secretary John Patton is to tour the country's primary schools stark naked in a bid to help children understand sex. At each school, he will undress and then stand bare in front of the children for an hour. They will be asked to make up their own minds about sex while they stare in silence at the nude man. Mr. Patton said, I hope this calm approach will show them that sex is a very serious thing indeed. No, no, have you checked out the trains? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do it now. I'm, I'm, I'm You're going to go and find out if there are any trains on? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. do that, yeah. Okay. yeah. Just, can, I, can I help out with the exams, though? No. Yeah, go on. Go on. I believe this. You're supposed to be checking out the yeah, trains. Just, public there's, plenty of, there's plenty of time. I mean, just, just let me help, please. Hang on, okay, we'll argue about it. on this if you tell us whether there are any trains running yeah now what? are there any trains running this evening yeah all of them all of them okay Got time for one more exam call. Advice about revision and exam taking. We're just hooking up now. Exam advice line. Hi, it's Jai. You're through to 1FM. Okay, thanks. And what would you like to ask? Um, have you got any exam techniques? Exam techniques? Yeah. Peter Bainham, any ideas? Yeah, hello, Jai. Hello. Do you get um, do you get nervous in the exam? Um, at the beginning, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I have several boards. I think what is it? The Southern board you're doing, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The Southern board's just brought in uh, new time division rules. Do you know about this? Um, no. The new time division rules say that you can divide the length of the exam up, so you don't have to actually do the whole 90 minutes there and then. What you can do is you can actually, if you start to panic or if you start to think. I'm losing it here. You can put down your pen, you can walk up to the invigilator, and you have to say to him, I leave now. And then you can go out of the room, you can come back, say if you do that after 20 minutes, you can come back at a later stage and do the other 70 minutes. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So you know what to say to the invigilator there? Um, basically that I want to, con I want to stop my exam now. Yeah, so you I actually to have to say the there. words are, I leave, leave now. Exam. I leave now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you could try that on when's your first exam? Friday. Yeah, thirteenth. So try that on Friday, and uh, that may help. Okay. Okay. Anything else you need to know? Um, Thanks, Peter. Anything else about questions that might come up or anything? Yeah. Have you got any advice? <sighs> you actually want me to read out one of this year's papers? This year's papers. Well, I have actually got one of this year's papers with me now. Okay, it's the exam which is happening on Friday. For which subject? For accounting. Yeah, and... Is there anybody else there who's doing the subject with you? Um, no. Right, okay, keep it under your hat. Okay. There is a question about the Lloyd's crash. Hmm. Uh, 
prepared, you have to prepare an account of the profits and losses and balance them at the end. Profits and loss? Yeah. So, um, basically what, what I've revised is profit and loss and balance sheets, is that okay? I would have said that put you in a very good position. Okay. Thanks a lot. Glad to have been of help. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, mate. Bye. Good luck. Thanks. Cheers. Hi, Jai, it's uh, Paul here, the producer. Hello. How'd you get on there? Um, it was okay. Good, okay. Any tips on the exams that you got? Um, yeah, to advise profit and loss. And what about exam technique, actually, when you were in the room taking the exam? I couldn't hear, I was just answering the phones. I just wondered if you got everything we could give you. Um, there was a bit of exam technique, but not too much. Right, what was that, the new rules this year? Yeah. Yeah, and what were they? That, um, I could leave, um, and carry on later. If I panicked. You can leave the exam and carry on later? Yeah. Was there any proviso you had to do, anything there that you had to do in order for that to work? Yeah, I had to say to them, I leave now. Well, try that, mate. And thanks for calling. That's it. Thanks very much to Ollie. Thanks to Peter Bainham. Thanks to Rebecca. Thanks to Paul. We'll talk to him next week. I love you all.